So um, in general, when we talk about 3D technology, it might look and might feel also quite far from uh, the whole three, uh, the whole April or fashion uh, development process. But actually, also thanks to this last year of uh, pandemic, unfortunately, but actually luckily for the economy in terms of the technology, we've moved really fast towards like a new way of working. And today I'm. I really would like to try to um, make something quite complex, a bit easy and simplified for you so that you can get your, your own also feelings and you, know, you just can understand a bit more. So in general, the 3D technology has tons of benefits. Um, in general, it can help to streamline the overall process. And today I'm only talking about April because of course we know that 3D is in every um, other market, let's say at the moment, and uh, technology is working really good. But April has been always a bit uh, different because of the nature of the fabrics and the behavior. So we all know how uh, this could be complex. But in general, uh, there are benefits clearly. On one hand, um, when it comes to design, these designs, once they're produced in 3D, they can be used across the whole development process. It's not only like having a 2D sketch that will stay on the paper. We can, add, and then we can, we need to translate into most probably a vector with Adobe Illustrator or whatever else. So this design 3D, it will stay with us across the whole development process. The second thing is that it's fast. Is extremely fast now. Um, I mean, I worked in 3D in eight years, and I can tell you that uh, in eight years we did a lot, or technology did a lot. So the beginning was not that easy, not that fast, but now, and I will show you, uh, it's extremely fast. And of course, these samples that you're gonna get, that they are digital, uh, they can help uh, you, and in general, like also company that they work with 3D to make faster decisions. And the third one, which is the last but definitely not least, is all about sustainability. So we all know that the fashion industry is one of the most polluting one, actually second only to the oil uh, market. So in general, we need to find a way to make the whole shebang more sustainable. And with 3D, we can actually help the whole development process, saving uh, tons of free samples, saving dying process, and so on. So to give you an idea, this is um, a style that I made some days ago, and it took only three hours to get this one. Three hours means from the very beginning, so I had nothing scratched. Uh, so I basically started with a, a pattern, like a basic block of a skirt and a basic block of a t-shirt. And then I took out uh, this, and it took really only three hours. Now, of course, uh, this is based on my uh, knowledge and how fast I am. That of course, that's the goal of a 3D to have an expert which, who could work really fast with this kind of thing. And the beauty of this is that now you can use this um, image uh, for several purposes. Once it's done, you can use it for internal meeting and internal decision. Uh, I will show you how to make fit things on that. You can use it for e-commerce. You can use it for digital marketing and so on and so forth. So the usage and the freeability of this data, it, it's enormous. And in fact, here I just listed some of the pros, but of course, I also want to list you the cons of the 3D technology because it's not only goals, we all know. Uh, you work with patterns, you use stuff. So of course, you know which are the limitation which might have the fabric in terms of 3D um, rendering and simulation. So on one hand, um, the last part, I just listed uh, some pros. As I already told you, extremely fast result in hours not weeks uh, or days, uh, freeability of data. So once I have my 3D sample, I can use it across the whole development process. Uh, it's clearly a money saver, but this in mid long term. Why? Because of course uh, it will save um, money for the development in terms of sampling and dying process and so on, but it's gonna be mid long because of course there is at the beginning um, a really ramp up phase for the specialist, the, the specialist, the 3D artist, the pattern maker who needs to learn this kind of technology. And of course, it's innovative. And on the other hand, as we were saying, it might not be 100% accurate. So this we all need to know, has to be clear. I never sell this idea of 3D of something that is enough on its own. I always 
uh, tell everybody like students and company that it's extremely important to still have a physical sample, but like the least of it, like one, this would be like the best, only one physical sample and everything else, which is all about design idea, uh, checking on the lens, checking on the fabrics, um, or for instance, like prints, everything is related to that colors. Uh, this should come with, with the 3D. But because of this under percent of accuracy that we cannot get at the moment, we are around 90 to 95%. We, we all need to know that we still need one physical sample on our uh, product. At least this is what I uh, recommend. Uh, of course, there is a need of specific resources. So it's not that everybody can do 3D. That's normal because 3D is a technology that everybody needs to learn. And of course, as I said before, there is a ramp up phase because I, I'm not gonna say it's the easiest thing on, on heart, but it's not that complex. But of course you need to become specialist on that. And that's why you will need some time to learn and then need to be implemented properly because I've seen so many projects on 3D also in the past years in companies that they really wanted to go digital, but they had no clue how to do it. And they had not the right team of people ready for this uh, digital transition. So that's also an important part, uh, clearly, of the implementation. Um, in general, it's important to know that it's growing. So it's not a hype, but this is something that uh, is here to stay, the 3D. Only the last year it gave a bit of, let's say, a yeah, boost to the, the 3D market. And there is a problem. The companies, they are demanding 3D artists or 3D pattern maker or 3D designer, and there is no uh, offer. So they, the offer is not fulfilling the demand at the moment. And that's why with the 3D Academy, actually, we uh, definitely evangelize a bit the 3D and grow the new, the new class of, of this digital 